Hello YouTube, how is it going today? So I promised you guys that I would make this guide and I was not able to make this guide the other day because remember I got DDoSed but here we go anyways. Now I was going to make this guide on how to sell in a public session and how to um, get away clean like I always do because I have not I've I haven't had an incident where I lost product in a long time I've always I'm always very successful whenever I sell in these public sessions now again the reason you want to sell in public sessions is because you get a 1% bonus per player that's in the lobby and in case the cocaine $420,000 I'm selling that's gonna be a $4,200 bonus per player so if I sell that in a decently populated lobby I can make like around a hundred hundred twenty grand bonus from that so definitely worth it in my opinion so let me show you guys what I do here and how, how you guys and hopefully I can give you guys some tips on how to um this one right here is a, a, a small populated lobby this has a decent amount of players and this has around like I'd say like 15 players in here um, when I, I look at the map and I look at where all the players are positioned, I also look at these drops. And you see the drops right here? I choose a pattern that I'm going to make the drops in. So I'm going to make the drop from that, that first drop that's all the way um, all the way to the right side, of the, uh, right side of the city. And that's the farthest one away by itself. I'm going to go to that one first. I'm going to go right down to it. And then I'm going to follow all the other drops in a pattern going up. And whenever you're doing these cell missions um, in the MCs, you're going to want to um, try to look for a pattern. Look, look at the before you start making the drops. Before you even move your vehicle, look at the map and determine which for, which first drop you want to go to. Just because it's the closest drop to you doesn't mean it's the best drop to go to. For example, when you're selling the UPS trucks in the city, there's often one drop that's closer um, than the other ones, but the other ones are very far on the coast. And if you could just go from the coast and then you go right through the city, that's a lot quicker and a lot more efficient. So right here. Um, I looked at the ranks of the people in here. People, I tend, I when I look at a lobby, I look at, I look at a few things in a lobby. And uh, one mistake that I made was I didn't check what the weather was um, outside here, and I made a big mistake on that. It, 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 it can definitely mess this up because we have to fly really low, and the, and the rain is going to cause the plane to have a lot of turbulence and shake, and not be as accurate when you're flying. So I would, I, if I knew it was raining outside, I wouldn't actually have sold in this session, but. What I tend to look for, and if you keep looking there at the players, is I check if, I check first, first thing I check obviously is how many players are in the session. And I check what the ranks are. If, if, if like a lot of players in the rank in the level are below level 100, then I, I'll sell in there because I know I can handle it and I know I'm not going to have problems from some MLG pro, you know, coming over and trying to blow up my, my, my shipment. And what I'm going to look at also, another important thing is I'm going to look at how these people are. That's the pattern I'm going to follow right there. By the way, I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at how these people are situated um, in the lobbies. If 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 there is a big, if you're playing in a 32 player lobby, like a full lobby, that's the one. That's the one where you would make the most profit from. So you would get the most amount of money you could possibly get if you sold it in there. What I tend to look for is I look if, I look if there's a war zone going on in the city. And if there's a war zone going on in the city, like there, or, or even in the Sandy Shores, or even in Polito Bay, wherever there's a war zone going on, and there's a ton of players just killing each other, just murdering each other, that's actually the better lobby to sell in than if everybody's just spread out around. And the reason that's a better lobby is because all these idiots are just busy killing each other in this giant war zone that they're not, they aren't paying attention to you making your crate deliveries and they can't even if they wanted to they, they try to leave the war zone somebody would just kill them so the only thing the only way i could see that backfiring a little bit is if you have a drop that you have to make right in the middle of the war zone if you have a drop to make in the middle of the war zone that's where you have to be worried but if that's the case if you have to um, make a drop and it's in the middle of the war zone what you're going to want to do is you're going to make want to make that your last drop your very last drop so that in case um uh in case you do get blown up it's only one um one crate that you end up losing from this which wouldn't be that big of a deal, but still, it's profit. So, um, you see, the, the, I'm looking at where the players are, what they're doing, and right here, this guy in the fighter jet. You see this guy in the fighter jet? My friend, she warned me right here that the guy in the fighter jet is coming after us. And I, t I tell her on the mic right now, I tell her, blow him out of the sky. She goes off the radar right here, and she's going after this guy. See this yellow guy right here? He's circling. She just killed him. He's He was circling around. He was getting ready to blow us up. He was flying around there. He was trying to figure out where she went with the fighter jet when she went off the radar, but he, um, she blew him up first. Now, if we didn't have her covering us, we would be screwed. We would be absolutely screwed right now, and I refuse to do these sales unless I have a minimum of four people. 
when you make these sales, make sure you have four people that are making these sales. A lot of people are going to say, but you only need three delivery vehicles. Yes, when you're selling a full a full business, you're going to need you're going to have usually have three delivery vehicles. Now, the reason you want a fourth player is you have three people making deliveries and then the fourth player is security and they're playing the security role. It's obviously not not an assignable role, but it's what I tell people to do to play security. And basically security, they're going to be flying in a buzzard or a jet and they're going to be following us. And if, if I have two people, two X2 security, people on security, what I'll tell is one person to go in a Hydra and one person to go in a helicopter so that the helicopter can just follow us directly and the Hydra just, can just come in if something's a real threat. So right here, I we had three planes and I had my friend, she was covering us in the Hydra. And you know, that that helps, trust me, because there's a lot of trolls in this game. As I've said previously, there's so much cancer on this game, there's so many douchebags in this game. And if my friend was not in that jet right there and she didn't help us, remember, when you're playing in an MC, you can't ghost the MC. You can't. Uh, unfortunately, I really wish that Bikers had an, a ghost option. It doesn't. And if she wasn't there as she was before, that asshole would have blown us all up out of the sky. And that's why it was really good that she was covering us. It was that extra layer of security that we needed. So she covered us and she saved us. And we are able to make drops. So whenever you're in these lobbies and you're t taking a look at the players in there, take a look at all the ranks in the lobby. Take a look at what the ranks are. If the ranks are like out of control, I wouldn't recommend selling in that those lobbies. Usually noobs won't bother you. They, won't, they don't know what they're doing. Um... Check out, check out uh, the weather. That's not, that's like the l most least important one. But if it's like really stormy and foggy, um, uh, you're not going to want to fly a plane through that. And also check out if there's a big cluster of people. Because if, if there's, again, if there's a big war zone of people, that's the best place that you can sell in. The big war zone. That's the best area that you can, uh, that you, the best lobby that you can sell in. Because everybody's paying attention to the war zone. They're not going to pay attention to you selling. But if everybody's like spread out around the map that can screw you over because then you're going to be making drops all over the map and it's chances are that some players are going to catch on to what you're doing and they're going to go after you. So the lobbies where people are in war zones are actually more safer than the lobbies where everybody's just spread out. I've, I've noticed that a lot because I've sold in these lobbies and I've noticed the lobbies of war zones are usually the much lobbies where you don't, you don't have people coming after you unless you get near the war zone itself. Um, uh, okay, and here's the other um, uh, thing. I didn't record this part, but if I'm, I'm on PlayStation right here, and if somebody is coming, if somebody's coming after your cargo, if you're selling something and you're selling a full warehouse, and somebody is coming after your cargo, and you're comp and you're positive, you think that they're gonna blow it up, you think that you're not gonna be able to survive it, you think they're gonna destroy the whole product. If you get into that type of situation, I hope you don't. But if you do get into that type of situation. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to immediately close your application. And make sure you close your application before they destroy it. Because if they destroy it the second after you close your application, you're pretty much screwed. You're going to want to. And right here, I a little crashed at the bridge in case you guys are wondering. The frame thing didn't load up until the last minute and then I crashed. But it's not a big deal because I wasn't carrying any more product. But anyways, as I, as I was saying, if somebody is going to try to blow you up, and they're really close to you, and they're, you're really confident that they are going to blow you up, what you're going to want to do at that point is close your application and go back on the game. And when you close your application and you go back on the game, it's going to, um, it's going to cost, uh, it's go you're, not, you're, you're going to lose maybe a tiny bit of product, just a tiny bit of product, not the whole thing, just a little bit, maybe like 5% of it you'll lose. Um, and when you go back in, you'll just notice, you just notice a few thousand dollars short, not a big deal. Um, it's better than losing the whole product itself. So remember, if somebody starts coming after you and goes after you, just close your application. Close your application and then uh, just go back on the game and you can just have another redo, redo again. So right here, my friend is making the last drops right now. And let's see um, let's see how much of a bonus we get in this lobby because the bonus is definitely worth it. It's how I got, got my money right here. But let's see what we get. Okay, so 457000 Um... And remember, the original price was supposed to be 420000 so we got a 37 grand bonus from that. So, you guys see, as you can see, the bonus is definitely worth it. So, again, follow my steps and make sure that you, again, make the sales in a pattern. Follow the sales in a pattern. Make a specific path that you're going to make the sales in. That's what I always like to do. I always like to line up the objective. Makes it a lot more simpler. Okay, now look at this. Um... 
Look at this lobby right here. This is another lobby I'm selling in right now. This lobby is um a little this lobby's a little more peaceful. And the people aren't spread out. There's just one major um one major MC in there, but they're all together and they're not bothering me. And the city is pretty much clear. And I can make a huge bonus in here selling the counterfeit cash. So let me go ahead and do that and let me start the sale right here. And right here on this one, I got even more backup right now. Um my friend, I have two friends right now covering me with Hydras, and then just my uh, me and my other two friends are carrying the product right now. It's gonna make the drops. Make uh, this type of delivery job. It's the best to do this in a helicopter. And what I'm what I'm doing is while while my friend is flying, I'm scouting the area right now, um, looking at the map and looking if there's any threats that are coming near us. And it's good to call that it's good to call that stuff out early. So um, again. Follow my steps, make a pattern on the drops that you want to go in, follow a specific path, you know. Um, sell in lobbies with players where they're, they're not that high of a rank. Um, try to sell in lobbies with more than 20 people so you get a good bonus. Um, look at the weather, if it's rainy, remember it's going to be harder to drive, harder to fly, so it might be a pain. I mean, you can still do it, Not that's the least important one. And importantly, look at where all the players are situated. And when you are making the drops, make sure you coordinate with your teammates. Have them in a party and never, never, never do this with randoms. Don't ever do it with randoms. Never. Don't ever make these sales with randoms. It's not worth the risk of randoms. Randoms are going to... I, I trust I trust um, driving my product near other players than having randoms do, do these jobs with me because randoms will mess you up. Don't ever do them with randoms. So, um, and always, and have four people minimum. Four people minimum when you're doing these sales, you know, and have one person in security, have a Hydra or a Buzzard covering you while you're making the flight. And if anybody, if anybody tries to, if anybody tries to um, uh, blow you up or you're, you you think that the product is going to get destroyed, just close your application on PS4 or just restart your game, I guess, on Xbox One or even on PC. Just close the um, close the game also, and before they blow it up, that is, if they blow it up right then, you're pretty much screwed. Um, so yeah, it, if you're if you think they're going to destroy your product, just close the application really quick. Just do that really quick, and you will only lose a tiny bit of product, maybe like around five percent, but not that much. It won't be a big much of a big deal. It's certainly better than losing um, everything. And as you guys saw earlier, right there, there was a player that was right near the drop, and my friend was like hovering right behind the apartment building. We weren't sure we weren't going to take the risk, and you know I felt kind of bad that my friend um, blew blew him up, but. You know, we didn't want to take the risk because there was a player that was right there and we didn't know what he was going to do if we tried to make the drop right there. So my friend blew up the guy, you know, we're coordinating with the people in the jets really well, blew up the guy and we're making the drops right now. And, you know, you remember what I said several times, you and your friends are organized. You and your friends are organized. The randoms in the lobbies are not. The people that are going to try to blow up your crates, they are not organized. You and your friends are. You and your friends have the numbers. You and your friends have the, the weapons also because you're flying around in hydras. You can coordinate, you can plan out how you're going to do this. So, anything ever happens, just tell your friends and the Hydras come over, they protect you, they help you. And these drop, this isn't this isn't as stressful as people think. Like, people think this is going to be extremely stressful. No, if you know what you're doing, it's not stressful. And make sure you do this in free aim lobbies. Free aim lobbies tend to be a lot more peaceful than auto aim lobbies. And also, people can't, you know, people can't snipe you out of vehicles when you're driving like 100 miles per hour on like, on auto aim. So, free aim lobbies all the way, much more peaceful, it's a lot harder for people to kill you also. So, right there, you guys see, we made $358,000. Now remember, we were supposed to make 294000 so we made a, a 64 grand bonus on that, and we got, you know, uh, $2,940 $2, per player. So... I guess that's that. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or anything else you want to know, anything I didn't cover or forgot to cover, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to reply to every single comment I can. So I guess that's that for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one soon. Take care everyone.